Aloha, Patrick Franti here, principal of the Villa Group at Cobble Banker Island Properties here in beautiful Maui. I want to start by first and foremost wishing you all a happy holidays. Um, hope you got to spend some time with your closest loved ones. Um, I know we're all trying to keep the gathering small this year um, and definitely a prosperous new year. Um, I know 2020 was very interesting um, to say the least and I know we're all looking forward to what 2021 has in store hopefully um, much better things for all of us. Um, with that being said, with this, uh, you know, this December update here, I'm gonna focus on you know, what I am an expert in, that's gonna be the Maui real estate market. Um, gonna try and stay away from the broader um, themes of the year and um, you know, anything outside of, of real estate, really. I'm just here to bring you, you know, kind of what happened, um, Kind of a year-end recap um, we'll get the updated stats for the year mid-january so i'll come to you with that as well that'll give you kind of some more finite year-end numbers but just wanted to touch on some of the themes we saw this year it's kind of a roller coaster um but you know started off first quarter just like any other year activity was good a lot of people were here celebrating the holidays um you know, 2019 into 2020 and started off like a, you know, a fabulous year like any other. Um, then, you know, mid-March hit COVID, everything shut down. Here in Hawaii, that meant closing our doors. No one could come in. If you did, you had to quarantine for two weeks. That basically shut off all activity for our market. Um, you know, things virtually came to a standstill from a a normal sales pace, um, all activity stopped. You know, people were struggling to keep escrows together. You know, some people, um, you know, still in confidence in the market, continued to closing. We saw a lot of escrows cancel at that point. And um, needless to say, very volatile period. Um, you know, we went through the next month to 45 days, very, you know, a lot of unknowns out there, a lot of variables. And, you know, as far as our real estate market is concerned, things came back with a huge force. Um, we went from an almost dead, stagnant market to quite robust activity, especially in the single family sector. Um, and this is where things kind of started to get a little bit segmented. Um, you know, our single, single family market saw huge demand from a lot of mainland buyers looking to either uh, relocate or, you know, just put money in a kind of a higher quality of life destination. I know we saw this across the country in resort areas, a lot of buyer activity, people interested in getting out of those metro markets and getting into something with a little more, you know, a little lower density, a little more space, a little better uh, quality of living. Um, and honestly, the low interest rates and that shift in demand has driven our market through the end of this year. We've seen huge demand for single family homes. I'll touch on the, the condo segment here in a, in a minute, but a um, lot of relocations. I haven't seen you know this many uh, relocation purchases or um, you know people moving to the island in quite some time. So um, a lot of that on the condo side of things, quite different. Um, primarily driven by the investment market, the short-term rental segment, condo inventory saw virtually no increase in demand because you know basically our market was still closed. Guests couldn't come and stay. People couldn't come to shop and look at property. Um, so the condo segment stayed very flat through you know second quarter summer months into third and fourth quarters um you know really just due to uncertainty you know we had no revenue in our short-term rental segment and you know buyers just weren't ready to jump in with that until we had an opening date and basically some sort of vision for the future so you know and let's see as we you know Got into mid-October, things opened up, that demand did increase, but not by a huge margin. We're still, you know, we're definitely seeing some of that inventory get worked through, but, you know, our condo market right now, inventory 
we're probably going to finish out the year up about 30 percent from this time last year so huge spike in inventory if you are shopping for condos particularly vacation rentals it is a good time we're seeing some pretty good deals um you know for sellers um you know there is buyer activity now and you know if you do need to sell or it is the time for you to maybe make that shift um we are seeing far more buyers right now than we were you know even three months ago um just touching on the numbers so our single family segment medians we're at about 800 grand right now um, up about six and a half percent from last year again that's not a year-end number but roughly where we're going to be at Volume of sales is down about 7% over last year, um, mainly due to constrained inventory. There's a lot of buyers shopping right now for single family homes and just not a lot available. Our inventory for homes right now is down 30% over last year. Huge number. And I just mentioned condos are up 30%. So we virtually saw a split in how the market shift kind of happen for each segment. Um, tight inventory and high buyer demand is driving the single family sector. Um, low interest rates, definitely still a driver. Um, you know, on the condo segment, median, you know, the prices didn't get hit dramatically. We're still at about, um, you know, 560 for our condo medians, up about eight and a half percent there. Sales volume down 20% over last year. And that inventory number up over 30% from last year. Um, you know, we are seeing demand on those condos ticking up. And I anticipate that to continue into 2021. Um, what do we see going forward? Hopefully, obviously, you know, no one's got the crystal ball, but hopefully you know, our trend of an improving overall climate in, you know, politics, um, in the world, in, you know, that we have a vaccine now, so hopefully that rolls out. Hopefully things, you know, trend towards a more normal 2021. If that continues, we're still gonna see, we expect to see strong buyer demand, low interest rates through 2021. Um, inventory in the single family segment I anticipate to uptick a bit um, as we have more sellers confident in the market. Um, I think we'll see increased, a um, little bit of increased inventory there, plenty of demand to fill that. And as we have more and more guests visiting the islands, these rent vacation rentable condos, we expect to have increased revenue numbers, which will make buyers, you know, the buyers that are looking happy and we'll start seeing um, some more transactions in that segment about it for now um you know again wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year we're always available for questions feel free to text or call or email anytime and we wish you all the best we'll talk to you soon aloha